Hello everyone, it's Mike Miss. I am demonstrating today a 3-bit multiplexer selector switch um, for more simplistic terms. And I basically have been creating more complicated multi-component circuits of late and I've decided that maybe I should start demonstrating simpler circuits and um, programs that can be used for solving um, various problems and can be scaled and adapted to whatever sp you specifically want to do. Now as you can see this is um, a 3-bit multiplexer, has a 3-bit output and as it's a multiplexer it's taking multiple inputs and determining um, less outputs as a result. In this case I'm using it as a selector what we what I mean by that is I'm taking two separate three bit inputs and using a switch determining which input I want it to be reading from. In this case, this would be the first series one, and that'd be the second series, first series, second series, and so on. the The concept of this is you want to have it include um, the inputs from the first series under one condition and preclude them on the next condition include the second condition. Um, the, in Boolean logic or in binary logic this is simple you just set it up AND gates on one input of the AND gate you have one series as you can see here and on the second series you have its own independent AND gate and what the AND gate allows you to do is uh, read from the input when you activate your selector switch. In this case it's an input that goes to this uh, first series when the switch is on and that activates these AND gates and allows these inputs to be read as you can see when the selector switch is on. When the selector switch is off it doesn't allow the other series to be read and so, um, as a result of this NOT gate right here not being active. Now if we want to change what we're reading, as you can see here, our current output is 110, and that's what is being inputted by our first series or second series. We just go ahead and switch to our first series, and as you can see here, it's changed sides. And that's because when this deactivated the NOT gate came on, and it activated the AND gates for the next series. The important thing to realize here is you may think, well, in this case, it's sending a signal, but nothing's coming out. Well, that's what you want. It doesn't matter if the AND gate is activated or not, if the input is a zero. You don't want anything but a zero to come through anyway. And so that's kind of how this operates. And you can scale this um, to include multiple inputs. You could. Um, I actually have a diagram where it's actually a um, four, four channel input, one channel output. And what that means is it can, um, using a two binary digit um, signal, determine which of those four channels it wants to select from and then output through the bit width of, that, of any single channel. So if you were to have seven, you'd have four seven bit inputs and it would only be displaying one of those seven bit inputs at any given time based on your input. But this is kind of just a simpler demonstration of how to do this, how to execute this. And um, you could do this pretty much any way you want to and what's cool is you can also scale this. Say I were to take this component here and then I were to simply take these inputs or outputs and then just route them to a whole nother two channel input and just have these inputs going into one series and then a whole nother set of inputs going into into it. I've uh, effectively created a three channel input, one channel output selector and um, it's a little bit more complicated to determine which you're inputting and um, outputting but as long as you properly um, get your truth table down uh, it wouldn't be too difficult at all. Um, but that's just you know one one example of something you can use to to determine data or to to access data and control your data flow and uh, I hope you guys get some use out of this thanks.